So now after we've done the 28, we will make one loop. We're going to count five spaces back. One, two, three, four, five. On the fifth one, we are going to go in. We are going to pull it out. Take one. Take two. Next space, the same thing. Pull it out. Take one. Take two, and we're going to do this throughout every single little space on the chain that we created until the end of the chain. We have created all of the holes, all of the chains, so you are supposed to have a total of 25 chains. Now, we're going to go up one, two, three, and we're going to turn our work, and we're going to go in the first, there's two loops here, right, from the chain before. We're not going to go through both. We're only going to grab this front loop, the one that's facing us. So, we're going to grab the first loop, and we're going to make one chain. We're going to grab the second loop, but we're only sticking in the first one facing towards us. Same thing. And again, so we're only grabbing the, the loop facing us. We are not grabbing the back part of the loops. And we're going to do that throughout the whole chain until the last one. Now, we have the last one here. We have the last one to do. So what we'll do, we'll make our turn. We're going to grab the corner of it. We're not going to grab any loops. We're going to grab straight in the corner. So we can stay nice and flush. There you have it. One, two, three. Make another chain. We're going to turn our work again. And now this time, we're going to grab the back loop, not the front but the back loop. So we're going to do that throughout the whole chain this way. Back loop. And we're going to do that all the way through. I'll meet you on the last one. Again, we finished creating. Now we have three rows. We're going to go to the last one. Do the same thing. Go to the corner. And make a chain. Go up three. One, two, three. And we're going to proceed with the same way as we did the first one. So we're grabbing the loop in front of us. Not the back part, but the front. We're going to do that throughout the whole process again. And this is our last row. After this one, we'll be changing to create the sides of our basket. So now we're on the last one. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to go to the corner. Sometimes it's tight, just push it in a little bit. I have a tight, uh, a tight stitch, so sometimes it's a little bit uh, hard to get it in, but we managed to get it in. So we've done the last stitch. We are going to go one, two, three, again, up, turn our work, and we're going to go in. 
completely on the next hole as you see and we're going to do one next hole so we have a little group of three now we're going to do two stitch one two we're going to skip one and we're going to go into the next one and do another group of three again two for separation skip one go to the next one and make another group of three and we're going to do that throughout until the end so now we're pretty much in the end we are going to make one two skip one go to the next one and make the last little three groups. And again, into the corner of this last um, little stick, whatever you want to call it. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you have seven groups of three. Three, skip one, three, skip one, two stitch separation. We're going to go up one, two, three. Turn our work. Now, here comes the change to start widening the basket going this way. So on the same hole, we're going to do three. Three chain. There's two, same hole, three. Now we're going to do one, two separation. In the next space, the big space that we did the two separation, we're going to make three more in there. And it's going to go until the end. Get to the end, we're going to do the same thing as we are doing now here in the beginning, which on the end, right, on the end here, we're going to make three in the same place in the corner. Okay, so we're at the end. We're going to make two stitch here. And we're going to go in the corner and we're going to make three on the same place. One, two, Three. So now we got eight groups of three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight groups of three. I'm going to make again three stitch, turn our work, and on the same hole, the same thing. We are going to make three stitch, two, Three on the same place to separation. We're going to go into the first space and create little groups again of three. Two separation and so on until the end. Again, the same thing. We're in the corner. We're at the end. Again, go in the corner and make three stitch. So, there you go. One, two, three. We're going up. Turn your work. Same place, we're going to make three stitch. And this is the final row for the 
for this design and I'll show you what's the next one. One, two, next space. Okay, so you're going to do that until the end. You're supposed to have one, two, three. This is the fourth row. So it's four rows like this, four rows like this. Okay, we're just going to go back a little bit on this one. Instead of the fourth row, instead of making two chain separation, we're only going to make one chain separation. Sorry about that. There's a strike with there a minute. So we're going to make one chain only and then do the three group as usual on the last row like we've been doing. But instead of two separation, we're making one separation. So we can tidy up a little bit more together. Okay, everybody. So... I've already turned my work, done three in the corner. We're going to go back into two, space, and make three groups again. Now, I had told you a little bit, a few seconds ago that it was supposed to be four. No, it's supposed to be seven rows like this. So we're going to do seven rows of groups, always adding three stitch on the corner so it can extend two, uh, two stitch separation on each little group. And on the um, seventh row, we are going to change it up. So I'll meet you back at seventh and I'll take you to the next step. Okay, you guys, so once you've completed your seven rows, we are going to do one chain per hole. Okay, one chain per hole. Now you're going to grab the loop that's in front of you, not the back part, but the one in front of you, like we did at the beginning. Here, I'm not going to go all the way through to the seventh row because I have it ready. This is just a sample teaching you guys. So front loop and take it out. And we're going to do for each one of, of, um, of them. In here, we're going to do only one on this space. Front loop. Okay. And take it out here the same thing we don't grab the back loop okay and we're gonna go through every single so one in the space we're gonna go through every single one of them all the way to the end this would be your your um, This will be your eighth row, okay? So after we've done seven, then we follow up with one stitch on each one, but only grabbing the front loop, as you can see here. We're only gonna grab the front loops, okay? We're not gonna grab both of them here. No, just the front. Okay. And it's one per, per each, one in the space, until the end. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, you guys, so we reached the end. Make sure that you do not miss your last one here. Okay, so 
we must grab the corner Whoop. okay we're gonna go on two three we're gonna go up turn it and do the same thing only this time we are not grabbing the loop in front of us we're grabbing the loop behind us so we're grabbing behind okay exactly the same thing as we did here in the beginning so one for each from the back back loop right here right there so one for each until the end So we finished until the last little hoop here in the corner and we're going to make three and go up, turn the work and do the same thing. Now, because we've done the back part on this one, we're going to go back and do the front part. So we're going to grab by the front. And we're going to do the same thing until the end. Again, by the front loop, same thing until the end. And we're going to do that until the last one in the corner. Make three stitch, like we did here. Go up, turn the work, and we're going to grab the back loop. So we're supposed to have four rows like this. So now we're grabbing front loop. The next row, which be the fourth row, will be the back loop. So one, two, this is the third row, front loop, one more row, back loop. And I'll come back to you on the fourth row. Okay, everybody, so we finished the fourth row, and now we can cut our thread. And tidy up. So we cut our thread. I usually like to grab a thinner needle to hide away the thread so you can pull it easier and you can pull through the upper stitch through it in it and this is the best way to have the finished work hidden grab it from the back Bring it to the front, grab it from this side, bring it again, and you can make a little tidy up over here. Pull it, and cut. So pretty much you are done, let's say, your fourth row. Now, if you're doing your basket in different colors like I have, then we are going to start the outside section to give it a little spark. We are going to stitch one, give it one stitch for the corner, go on the same one, and pull your thread out. Go in on top of the next uh, stitch. You can be hiding already this little corner uh, stitch that we have out. Let me just pull the thread here. Okay. So we don't, we just basically in 
the next stitch on the, in the hole, right? Because they all have. And out. Next, pull the thread and out. Next, pull the thread and out. And so on. So you're going to do that all the way through to the edge, to the corner. Okay, this is going to go all the way around, but We'll get to the corner so you do not forget that you need to make one, one stitch and another one inside the same hole. So it's two in the corners on each hole. The four corners, okay? Okay guys, so we have one before last. We have the last one which we're gonna be doing here in the corner. Okay, we're going to do one stitch and we're going to go back into the same one so it can be firm on the corners. Now inside, we're turning the work, okay, this is our front. We are turning our work on the side and inside of each um, stitch, we're going to be making two. So one, two. The next row, next stick, one, two. Next stick, one, two. So we're pretty much closing all around, like I said, which will be all around. Now getting to the corner, don't forget, it's two on the same place with one stitch. So you can have a firm corner, okay? I will get back to you once you complete all the way around. Corner, two stitch, and one, um, two on the same hole and, and one stitch. So you can have the firm corners here, the same thing. You go up and here the same thing. Here you have it. So once you put two stitch inside of this last loop, right? Then you would attach your thread, obviously, to you would put it inside of the hole here. Bring it out, close it up, take one, cut your thread. Okay, we'll meet right back with the, um, the handle of the basket. Okay, you guys, so once you've cut your thread from the corner, once you've finished all around, you're going to grab <clears throat> Your yarn, you're gonna make one knot, and from here, from the sticks, you're gonna count 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So on your 12, you're gonna go in and you're gonna bring your thread out. And you're gonna go up one, two, three, and make one turn on the on the same one. You're gonna make again a group of three. So now you got three in there. Now you're gonna go up again. Make a chain of three, one, two, three, one turn on the same holes here at the, at the beginning of your chain. You're gonna make three more, 
three more groups of three. So basically, this is what you're doing. You're making the handle. Again, one, two, three, make one turn, go on the two holes at the beginning, pull your thread out, take out two, take out the next one. Again, we have two already, we need one more. We want to go back to the same place and take out again. This thread in the back is bothering me. <laughs> I'll just cut it for now. Okay. Again. One, two, three, one turn into the same holes. Pull two out and pull the last two. So now you got two and then we're going to go for one more. Same holes. Pull two and pull two. So now you're making a chain. Now we have one, two, three, four. You need 24 of them. So you got to do 24 times. Okay. 24 times of these little chains little groups of three okay you guys so let's say I have 24 so you've done 24 of them you're gonna come back to your basket now you're gonna count 12 from this side one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and what you're gonna do is you're gonna tie it up into your 12 Okay, now I like to go over one more time just to secure it and you cut your thread and your little basket will be done. Okay, so next part we will be doing is the stitching. Now, you can use hot glue, like I do, and you can um, hot glue your basket into your pattern, starting from one end to the other. So I hot glue a little bit here and there, especially the corners, and then I come in with a big needle and some thread as you can see you can see the thread and you pretty much sew inside of your stitch so it does not show does not appear so you just go through it you don't go through all the way to the back because you don't want it shown the back but you Pretty much get it in in the middle of little loops here and then here and you just pull through and you pretty much got it done so you stitch it all the way to the end and this I will show you and this will be stitched on the first um, on the first of your pattern, your first little triangle of your pattern. Well, this is it for the basket. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. So we're going to start stitching the basket into the pattern. And this would be the proper way to do it. 
by going in and not grabbing through the back but in through the little loops in the middle of these two things and sew through it bring it back in you can feel the needle in the back of your finger so pretty much stick it in And that's pretty much it. Once you have hot gun glued in it, you can do that. That's what I do. I hot glue it first in the corners. And then hot glue it here on each corner. And then come back and stitch it in. Once it's all ironed, stretched out, you can't even see the stitch. 